Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. This is the page I'm working on today, and it's actually kind of somewhat inspired by my little clips here, because I'm going to do a, um, a vintage, more directed towards a bit of a manly page, I guess. And so to get started, now this is something that I probably may regret. I don't know. It's just in my head and I want to try it out. I'm actually going to come over here on just the one page and I'm just going to rip a little bit away. Not a lot, just a little. So let's just get on like this. Just give it a bit of a rip, something like that. And then maybe a little one down here, possibly. Actually, no. I'll just leave with that one because I'm not sure I'm going to like what I'm doing. I'm going to save this. So I'm going to start with a layer of the... Um, vanilla custard over the entire thing and then I will be right back Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with desert sand, melted chocolate, and ground coffee, and I'm going to kind of age this up a bit. I'm just going to splatter the desert sand around, and the same thing with the uh, melted chocolate. And then on the ground coffee, I'm going to take it and kind of hold it up here, let it do some weird dripping, and put it in certain places that I specifically want it. So I'm going to do that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I've got thus far. Now I'm gonna go in with my smaller, or my paint pens, and I'm gonna go around the edges here some. So I'm gonna start with desert sand, move to melted chocolate, and do ground espresso.
So now I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to pull over um, one of my sheets of 80 pound cardstock. And honestly, this is a perfect square. So I'm going to guess it's about eight and a half by eight and a half. You can tell I've used it for something else. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to start off with the paint it the entire thing with desert sand and then I'm gonna do something similar to this but not as much blotchiness I guess <laughs> Okay, so now that I have this, and I didn't put none of the Ground Espresso on yet because now I need to bring it over and get me a rough idea because I want one for this side and one for this side both. So I need to get a rough idea how big, and I'm just going to eyeball, but I'm going to guess it's probably going to be about, well here, let's be exact. So I'm going to try to get it as close to three and a half inches by mm, probably six inches. So what I'll do is I'll just give myself just like a little bit of a bend here, just there, because I'm actually just going to rip it. And then I'd say probably about there. That's probably about three and a half. Let's double check. Right on the money. <laughs> so let's set this aside. And I'm going to rip two of those down. So, but I'm just going to randomly rip it. And I'm going to rip upwards because I want the um, ripped edges showing through. So... Actually, I have, let me see if I can find it. It's all right. So I'm just going to set this here and try to use that as a way to just rip upwards if I can. This one I might actually make a little bit smaller. Let me see, because I don't want to go over that. Oh no, I can still. Eh, actually, I'll make it three and a quarter. And then on these I want to do kind of like I did here and I want to just rip me out a few little sections and I'm going to do the same to the top because I do not want it to be um, a perfect straight line. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the um, different pens, paint pens, colors, sorry. <laughs> Desert Sand, Melted Chocolate, and Ground Espresso, or Ground Coffee, sorry, and I'm gonna highlight these areas around these.
Now what I have is I have, I want these to go here, but there's a couple other things. And there was so many different ways I could have went about this, but I decided to go a little simple. But I have some images. I have the ink well and the calligraphy ink pen from the Art from the Heart, Delusions Art from the Heart set. And I wanted to stick that down here in this corner and have the pen propped up. Kind of like so. I have this clock from the passage of time and I'm undecided whether I want it to go underneath like that because I also have the this feather from um, the Flight of Fancy and I wanted it to go here let's move this for just a second like on top of this just to kind of balance that out a little bit but I'm I'm torn because I could make this be a like I could make this be a tuck for this though I probably won't <laughs> so I'll probably just put it like that because my plan oh and sorry <laughs> getting ahead of myself I have this little I think it's called a key from the clockwork Dilutions clockwork and I wanted to put it right up here like this to kind of make it look like it was a um, either a clipboard which I guess if I did I t could turn it that way and make it look like a clipboard and that would be cute too but I also like the idea of it being just a little key thing up here back here just randomly because this is getting stuck down this one I am going to make it be where you can flip it up and right underneath it and to do that and keep in mind I don't have the same um, knowledge when it comes to the Tim Holtz stuff as I do the Diane re-release the dilutions I could name just about every single thing <laughs> um, but he has washi tape and it's got like the little the little pointing finger and I have some here I'll show you it's this right here this washi if you have this you can indeed use it um, but if you don't have it there is another way and I'm going to show you how to make something similar using the Dilutions products. Well, Dilutions and Dina Wakely. <laughs> so I'm going to set this aside. I am going to pull over just a length of the um, uh, one inch Dina Wakely tape. And I'd say this is probably maybe six and a half seven inches let's see yeah it's well it's about six and a quarter six inches and then what I'm going to use is I'm gonna go over it with the desert sand I'm gonna give it the same um, treatment as that go over it with the desert sand put some but instead of using the desert sand ink I might just do the melted chocolate and the um, ground espresso to make it look similar to that or I could just go straight in with my image which would be this hand from the delusions ponder and petunia and I could just stamp that right on top like so and move it over and do it again because I'm going to need two pieces, one for the top, and then one to flip around and put on the back. So, do I want to do the black and the white? I mean, let's just see how that will look on top of there. Like, it would stand out quite a bit. However, I don't really want my tape to match... You know what? I'm just going to go for it. 
desert sand first and then I'll put some of the ink spray splatter down and concentrate the ground espresso on certain areas and then I'll stamp it on top. <laughs> While I've got my desert sand out, I'm going to go over the back of this as well. Alright, so now I'm going to color up my images really, really quick, and they're going to be in the darker colors because this is a vintage page. <laughs> All right, so this is what I have, and now I'm going to start putting my page together. Um, let's see. Let's just see. How do I want to do this? Do I want it like that? Maybe like that. I think I like that more. And then the sky is going to go over here. And here. And then... This is going to go down here in this corner with that on top of it, just to balance those out a little bit. 
and this is going to be my flap so let's pull over my tape it's kind of hard to actually see it but that's what it looks like <laughs> I'm going to make it go from one side to the other first I need my glue stick Bring over my piece. Oh, no, no, no. And just lay it on. It doesn't even have to be all the way on. All the way to the edge, I mean. So I'll have that and then cut this piece off. I may actually cut it off a little short, too. There we go. Put glue up here and stick it on my page. Flip it up. And then this piece is going to go in here, but it's going to need to be shorter than this. So I'm just going to trim it up to be about that width right there. And then commence to putting everything on the bottom on first, and I shall be right back. Now I'm going to go in with my black Posca paint pen and I'm going to outline everything except for this um, flap here. And that is it guys that is my page for the day <laughs> it's not my typical style um, but you know what I actually like it I enjoyed it it was something different um, and it's something different than my usual brights colors so every once in a while I guess throw in a tans and browns page to break up all of the brights <laughs> um, I have room to write here and I could have made this a um, tuck spot for a tag, but I didn't want to. I would have just taken and um, probably glued just here and then made that a tuck for a tag. Probably would have, and then put these on top afterwards so that way they didn't affect any of that. Um, then I have room to write here, as well as you flip this up, you can write here and down here. So that is it. Hopefully there's something in this page that can give you inspiration for your journal pages. If you like the video, please give it a like. I thank you so, so, so very much for being here, for all your kind comments, for just giving me the time of day, and again, for you just being you. <laughs> um, so that being said, until the next time, I hope you stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.